The EU, like most of the world, needs to reduce its dependence on oil and gas. By 2020, it wants 10% of energy used in the transport sector to come from renewable sources. In order to meet this target, manufacturers have been developing cars which run on alternative fuels such as electricity and biofuels. Biofuels are byproducts of industrial waste, for example gases, alcohols, organic compounds and oils. They originally come from vegetable or animal matter. There are two main types of so-called first-generation biofuels. Biodiesels, made for example from rapeseed, sunflower or soybean oil, and bioethanol, produced from plants such as sugar beet, sugar cane, cereal crops, wheat or maize, and blended with diesel. The advantage of this alternative energy source, it helps reduce greenhouse gas emissions. The drawback, its production can have damaging environmental consequences, such as water pollution, deforestation and change of land use. For example, farmland traditionally used to grow crops for food supply is often being diverted for biofuels production. This was one of the triggers of the 2007-2008 world food price crisis. To counter the problem, researchers are developing ways of replacing current biofuel production methods with so-called second-generation processes using what is known as biomass, organic waste, wood chippings, straw and hay. This reduces the impact on the food chain but is a more complicated process requiring sophisticated technology. The thermochemical route involves producing combustible gas or liquids such as diesel or jet fuel. The biochemical method typically uses the cellulose found in plants to ferment ethanol. In the future, researchers also hope to produce biofuels from microalgae and microorganisms.